Hello guys, welcome to this session. Uh, our topic is nutrition and we are still discussing about the nutrition in plants. So far in our past video, we discussed the, uh, uh, the various essential nutrients needed by the plants for their growth and development. So today let's discuss the photosynthesis. So we'll start with the concept of photosynthesis. Uh, Photosynthesis, this is the process whereby the green plants, they manufacture their own food by using the light energy produced from the sun. So it's the kind of uh, activity whereby the green plants, green plants, basically you are talking about the plants that are uh, basically this chlorophyll. That means that the leaves have the chlorophyll. So is the process whereby these green plants they manufacture their own food by the process of using the light energy uh, that is produced from the sun now during the photosynthesis uh, in green plants the light energy is the one that is captured and used it to convert the water carbon dioxide and the minerals into oxygen and the energy rich organic compounds so from there you can get that the various essentials that are needed for the photo Synthesis, which are the light energy that is captured uh, from the sun, uh, the water that is used there, and also there's carbon dioxide and the, the minerals that are also needed. So all these are just essentials for the photosynthesis. Now the photosynthesis takes place in the plants, especially in the leaves, so as to make their own food by the presence of the different factors. So there are various factors that influence the process of photosynthesis. Now let's see them. The various factors for the photosynthesis. The first one is the chlorophyll. This is the essential as the plant leaves. They should have this in order to facilitate the process of photosynthesis because this process it takes place within the uh, the green plants. The second one is presence of the carbon dioxide. Presence of carbon dioxide. Uh, Within the air, it's there as is it is important for the process, uh, and uh, and the manufacturing of the food, uh, for the plants. The third one is the sunlight energy. The sunlight energy is also is, is also important, uh, or just a essential factor for the photosynthesis to occur. So without sunlight energy, uh, the photosynthesis cannot occur. There's also mineral sources which are also important. Also the uh, uh, acquired or just see a uh, sustainable temperature and uh, the water uh, just see all the requirements or just factors for the photosynthesis. Now let's move on to the equation for the photosynthesis. So this photosynthesis basically it is kind of, uh, of a reaction. So there is a equation for this photosynthesis. So the carbon dioxide in the water are the two major factors involved in the photosynthesis reaction. Now, this kind of reaction of photosynthesis is basically the endothermic reaction. And what do we mean when we say the endothermic reaction? Endothermic reaction is the kind of reaction whereby uh, uh, heat is absorbed during the reaction. So it's an endothermic reaction and the products resulting from it are the oxygen and the glucose. So oxygen is the one that is exposed to the air and the glucose is the one that is used as potential for the plant growth and development. So the formula is like this. There's carbon dioxide that reacts with water at the presence, at the presence of sunlight energy, uh, which hasn't been displayed here, but there's presence of sunlight energy, thereby we get this uh, glucose and the, the oxygen, which are the final growth. At the final products. Moving on, let's see the structure of leaf in relation to photosynthesis. So, as we said before, that the photosynthesis takes place within the leaf uh, of a plant. Now, there are various structures that have been modified uh, or are just there for the leaf in order just to facilitate the process of photosynthesis. Now, the petrol, this one, which is here, this the petrol or the leaf stack is the one that attaches the leaf to the branch or stem. So as you can see here, this, the petrol, just the stuff, the one that attaches the leaf to the branch. Now it keeps the lamina. The lamina is this one, which is just 
basically the external structure of the leaf. It keeps the lamina in position that will enable it to get a maximum amount of sunlight. So the amount of sunlight uh, is a potential is just very much required. Uh, so the position of lamina, it should be there positioned well uh, poser or just exposed to, to the sunlight. Now the lamina has a light surface area, thus it maximizes the absorption of light energy and the carbon dioxide. So as you can see, a lamina is the outer structure of the leaf, so it has a larger surface area whereby it influences the maximum absorption of the light energy and the carbon dioxide. Also, the lamina is also thin so that the carbon dioxide and the light energy diffuse over a short distance to reach the cells. So lamina is so thin, this structure, in a way that the carbon dioxide uh, that is absorbed from the air and the light energy, they can diffuse easily over a short distance to reach the cells for the process of photosynthesis. Now the mid lip, uh, which is this one, the mid lip, uh, and the veins, the veins are these veins that make up the outer structure. Uh, the the mid lip and the veins contain the xylem and the phloem. Now the xylem are the ones that uh, are the vessels that transport water and the mineral salt to the leaf. So are the ones that are responsible for the transportation of water and the mineral salts to the leaf. So they take uh, mineral salts and and uh, mineral salts and water uh, from uh, all over the surroundings towards the leaf to facilitate the photosynthesis process. While the the volumes for um, these volume vessels. Uh, they transport the manufactured food to the other parts uh, of the plant. So that's how it is the structure of the leaf in just in relation to the photosynthesis. Now let's see the process of photosynthesis. The process of photosynthesis, it takes place in the corpus at the cellular level that contains the chlorophyll, uh, whereby the leaves have parts called the pentule, the epidermis, and the lamina that absorb sunlight. And the photosynthesis uh, it just takes place in two stages, the light stage and the dark stage. Now let's see the light stage. The light stage in this process, uh, this kind of a process just begins in the daylight by gathering the light. So it begins within the daytime and it's there as it gathers the light from the sun. Now the two types of photo uh, systems, they convert the light energy into HP and the NADPH. So all these are just two of the uh, photo systems that they convert the light energy into HP and the NADPH. Now during their conversions, oxygen is produced and the water is produced. So that's before about the light state. While in the dark stage, it is also called as the carbon fixing whereby it is not dependent on the light and it takes place in the corpus, whereby the products from the early step are the ones that are used. Now the plants intake the carbon dioxide and the carbon photosynthesis cycle begins, whereby the six molecules of the carbon dioxide are converted into sugar and glucose. So that's brief about the dark state. Now let's see the importance of photosynthesis in daily life. The find just few of the importances uh, of the photosynthesis in their life. First one that all organisms which are heterotroph, heterotroph are the animal, are the organisms that uh, they eat both plants and animals. They depend on the autotrophs. Uh, the autotrophs are the uh, organisms that can they can generate their food themselves as source of food. So uh, the autotrophs are basically these uh, the plants which they generate the food by themselves through the process of photosynthesis. This one that the living organisms, they depend on the oxygen for their aerobic respiration produced during the photosynthesis. So, so the oxygen that is produced as the product from the photosynthesis is used by the living organisms they, that they depend uh, for their aerobic respiration. The third one that the photosynthesis it converts the light energy into the chemical energy which is used by the other organisms, and the last one is the humans depend on the photosynthesis for the energy containing fossil fuel which have developed over millions of years. So the 
fossil fuels they developed due to the uh kept energy uh for a million of years the one that is used for the humans for the various activities so basically guys thank you for listening so far we've discussed the process of photosynthesis we've seen the, we've seen the concept of photosynthesis uh the process of photosynthesis how the leaves are uh, structured in relation to the photosynthesis uh the process of photosynthesis and the various importance of photosynthesis in our daily life thank you